Another way to manage tabs is to use the tab manager, located in the bottom left corner. You can also access it with the keyboard shortcut Alt T on Windows or Option T on Mac. The tab manager lists all the tabs in the same order that they appear along the bottom of the screen with the tab name, tab type, a thumbnail image, and the currently open tab shown in bold. Social cues display which tabs other team members are working in, and tabs with out of date references can also be seen here. More on understanding social cues and working with team members is covered in the Sharing and Collaboration course. The tab manager also allows you to filter and search for contents in the document. To search for a tab, toggle on the search tool and enter one or more characters into the search field, and the tabs are immediately filtered. The letters you enter do not have to be contiguous, but they do have to be in the correct order. For example, entering AS this assemblies and tabs with AS. Entering ASM narrows down to all assemblies, but entering AMS lists something completely different. You can sort tabs by using the sort tabs filter. You can sort by the current tab order, from A to Z, or Z to A, or by type. Ordering all the same types together. Reordering tabs through the tab manager does not reorder the tabs at the bottom of the screen. Additional filters are also available by pressing the Filter Tabs button. You can filter by tab type, which shows an icon for each type of data contained within the document. To clear all filters, press the Clear button. To change from a detail view to a list view in the Tab Manager, toggle these icons at the top. Left-clicking a tab displays a larger thumbnail in a preview window at the bottom. Pressing Enter or double-clicking a tab opens that tab. The preview window can be toggled on or off using the button in the bottom right corner of the tab manager. An added benefit of using the tab manager to manage folders is that you can multi-select any number of tabs and drag and drop them into a folder all at once. To see the contents of a folder, click the caret on the left or double click. You can also drag one or more tabs out of a folder or into another folder. Right clicking a tab in the tab manager lists all the same options as when you right click a tab along the bottom of the screen. And additionally, one more option to add the selection to a folder. This creates a folder, moves the selected tabs into it, and prompts you to name the folder. You can delete several tabs at once by multi selecting the tabs, right click, and choosing Delete. There are also options in the right click menu to set the tab's properties, move all of them to a folder, or move them all to another document. Properties and moving tabs between documents will be covered in a future video. You can leave the tab manager open while you work, or to close it, click the X in the top right corner.